Hey everyone, finally here with an adventure mode guide slash tutorial. In reality, it's just a separate little timed farming and leveling mechanic that doesn't really do much gameplay-wise. It's really just meant for some aesthetic customizations for your profile, and certain characters will get a voice line when you give them gifts. So, all in all, if you don't care about this feature, it won't have any effect on your actual gameplay, so feel free to ignore it if you don't want to deal with it. To access the adventure feature, you'll need to go to the footprint icon on the left side of your mansion screen. You'll have two empty slots, so press the bottom right button, which will display three different adventure options. The options will vary by what part and the time taken to complete the adventure. The first two options are usually one or two hours long, and the last option is always ten hours long. If you choose a one hour adventure, you'll be asked to select two characters for the journey, after which you'll confirm and well, you wait an hour. For two hours, you'll select three characters, and for ten hours, you'll select five characters. Uh, but don't worry, you'll be able to use the characters in normal games while they're adventuring. After the waiting time ends, you'll be notified with a red indicator on the footprint icon, so go ahead and press the bottom right button to get your item drops. The item drops will vary from level tickets, coins, and gifts which can use to level up your character's friend levels. We'll cover friend levels in just a bit. While we currently don't have sufficient data for or any sample sizes to determine the estimated rates of item drops, the general rule of thumb is you'll get rarer gifts more often from longer adventures. Also, we can't confirm nor deny whether or not setting corresponding characters to the specific part of the adventure, or whether or not putting a GR as opposed to a lower rarity actually affects drops, so there really aren't any recommendations I can make for who to send out for specific adventure types. Next, I'll show two images listing out all the gift rewards you can get from adventures, so pause the video if you need to, but I'll also include a link with the images in the description as well. The level tickets and coins are obviously excluded, and at the time of recording, Paul Popo just fucking released, so his little cracker gift won't be shown the images, but just do know that he has a specific gift for him. Now, on to explaining the friend level system. When you go to your character's rooms in your mansion and press the small button near the middle of the screen, you'll be shown your gift inventory, as well as the friend level gauge on the top right. Maxing out the gauge will give you corresponding badges or voice lines when gifting, giving gifts for certain characters, and the badges you can use for your profile, though I don't have any badges so I can't exactly show that. If the character is selected as skill level 5 and you've set a roommate for them, you can also switch between them in the gift giving screen. You can give up to 3 gifts to a character each day, and there are varying amounts of friend level XP they'll get according to the various gifts. So, for example, giving a part 5 character a part 5 bag will give them more friend level XP. The white colored bags give the same EXP to pretty much everyone and specific custom gifts such as Jorno's Brooch or Josuke's Comb give a lot of XP to those specific units. You can refer to the gift list mentioned earlier to see which gift corresponds to which unit. That covers the gist of the adventure and friend level mechanics in the game, and I hope this has been helpful. Have a good day, take it easy.